if I come home one day and you're you're dead, you know, with dildos coming out of every hole, do you want me to take the dildos out? Do you want me to set you up in a nice display you in a nice manner? Or how do you how do you want, you know, the uh, uh rescue people to come in? I'm, I'm just trying to figure this out before I'm it happens. Dead. I don't care. Okay, you don't care. I'll pose you then. We'll set you up real good. Make you look good. Get you ready for a camera. You know. The weekend has landed. All that exists now is clubs, drugs, pubs, and parties. I've got 48 hours off from the world, man. I'm going to blow steam out of my head like a screaming kettle. I'm going to talk cod shit to strangers all night. I'm going to lose the plot on the dance floor. The free radicals inside me are freaking, man. Tonight, I'm Chip Travolta. I'm Peter Popper. I'm going to never, never land with my chosen family, man. We're going to get more spaced out than Neil Armstrong ever did. Anything could happen tonight, you know? This could be the best night of my life. I've got 73 quid in my back burner. I'm going to wax the lot, man. The milky bars are on me! And now, live from Rule 34 Studio, I bring you a girl that swears she would make more sense if we all just understood her references. Here she is, your host, the one, the only, Kinky Kitty. Hello, 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 and welcome to the show. This is Kinky Katie's World number 443. I am your host, Kinky Katie, and with me, as always, is my absolute favorite fuck toy, the one and only, Mr. SC. Okay. How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> sure. I am I am quite prepped up right. at the moment. Right. It was all that that, that extra key faction you got today. And <laughs> I don't know if that was a good decision to give to you or not, but, you know. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> we are here. And speaking of here, we are coming to you live from Rule 34 Studio, KinkyKatieRadio.com and RadioChaos.net. Yeah. Hello to our uh, our unofficial fan co-host who's listening live right now. He knows who he is. Well, good. Okay. Yeah. Right. He's our regular. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> Do you went... know what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> Can you see the look on my face? <laughs> I'm like looking around here right before we started. I realized that I finished my show snacks and I was like, oh, oh, oh no, no show snacks. I what think it's funny too. Ever since, do? ever since we posted, you posted that short of, um, we're talking about being like a high, uh, like kindergarten teacher. I'm like, mm, snacks. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, and everybody right. loves that one. Really? Uh, well, no, people quote it too. They, they're like, no, I go dot 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 snacks. <laughs> so see what happens. I don't give a shit. Right. I like to eat. It's true to life. I fucking like food. Right. Food and you ran delicious. out of show snacks. So I we did. Don't, I ran out. It's a gonna sn- be a catastrophe. I have no show bacon. I have oh, no show crackers. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Goldfish. That those are crackers. Pasta. Sometimes pizza. You know, whatever, dude. I don't care. Fish dip. You know, we have some in the fridge, I, but I'm out of my favorite crackers. Right. Anyway, um, I was on uh, I was on the Stoner Jesus podcast last night. Stoner Jesus. So I, I think it's kind of, um, which you can go to my Twitter at Kinky Katie Radio and uh, the whole interview is right there. So if you, if you want to click on the video, you can watch it. Right. I was extremely high. Well, it is Stoner Jesus. I mean. <laughs> You know, what I mean, how do you prep for that? You obviously you get, get as high, high as you possibly can, right? <laughs> right? So, if I don't make any sense, or you're like, What the fuck is wrong with her? I'm high, mm. <laughs> and I didn't know what to say. I'm just glad <laughs> that we figured out the whole uh, uh you streaming did something, you know, you uh, did. The, streaming the video, you know, whatever. So, now, in the new place. so now we're gonna be able to, uh, to. Do things. Other- <laughs> do, do more things where you and I can see each other uh-huh. when we talk. And, the test and run worked. Right. The test run worked. The test run worked. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, but then sooner or later, I'm going to be like, I can stream this, right? Right. Then, sure. You know, I won't get in trouble. And I stream terms it to the wrong. Terms of what? Is that terms of service? I don't understand at all what you're trying to, to say. Stream it to the wrong place. It's like... Yeah. Not right. again. No, exactly. God damn it. Right. I don't know. So I think we have a bunch of stuff to talk about, I suppose. Okay. You know, I wanted to know, why, wh- where did it all start where, like, women had to, like, everything is, like, 
women have to be rescued and we must rescue the princess or we have to save this chick. It's like white knighting. Yeah. Well, it's because you're, you're fragile and, you know, delicate like but a But then it's flower. like the whole village in town, too, who are like, no, we must protect this woman. Oh, right. Unless unless you're in it's some- like, no, I don't like her. I don't want to protect her. Well, in no. some countries, it's not that. It's, it's you know- but, Rape them uh, and but, kill them. But, but, you know, exactly. Right. But put on your face covering and get in the fucking hut, bitch. Yeah, but they never they never show that on like whenever there's movies they don't usually depict that. It's always I must slay the dragon to rescue the mm-hmm. princess or the princess right. is in a tower or hey, don't look at me. I don't know. write it. You know, I'm not I'm not know. the progenitor of all of this this stuff. I mean, there is there is a thing where at least with the two of us, if if we were both thrown out of a moving car, who would have the higher chance of survival? You know what I mean? Just in that, right, right there, like, like. But I'm soft and I would embrace myself, so I think I'd be all right. Okay, just sure. Do, 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 do. I mean, but <laughs> just in wandering through an indoor place, sometimes you'll like you'll injure yourself somehow. You know what I mean? It's fair to say. You, you so from my point of view, you don't seem that durable. You, you just, <laughs> you know. No. So if there was something that required some sort of like durability. I would be. I would think that I would be the better choice out of the two of us. I don't know about everybody else. Fuck, I injured I'm just my saying. pussy on a sex toy for Christ's sake. I know, and then you don't walk right for like two weeks, and you're having a hard time sitting sometimes. And that's, I'm old too, so. and that's just from a dildo accident. I know. I know. Sometimes I go rough. Now imagine okay. if the mammoth charged you when you were trying to spear it. What the fuck is going to happen? I get squashed. Well. You know, I could tusked. get I could get squashed too, and so might still die. Whatever. There are more durable ladies, though. You're just, you're not one of them. No, I'm so, not. So, so okay, so you can you can. Well, I have no problem with. I was going to say that you know I have no problem with being the protected one, but you know. Yeah, but it just you would wish you wish it wasn't like a thing. No, I'm not no? saying that. I just said when did this all like start? Oh, beginning I didn't of time. Say, you know, I, yeah. that, that's what I mean. Ever it's since, just... ever since you guys didn't grow a wang in the womb, no womb wang, and when you came out without There's no womb for wang, right? And you didn't have any sort of like testosterone spurt at any. You didn't have that mass injection there that that you know what I mean. So I since then I think is when you know guys think that you know what I mean. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's it's not going away. Good luck with that. Right, here's a new term that I learned, and uh, uh, yeah, it, well, well I had a I had a to- what? Dink doink. No. Okay. I had a I had a perfectly different meaning th- than this. Um, it's actually it's ATMing. Okay. ATM. Now yeah. I always thought ATMs asked a mouse. Well, that's exactly what it means to us, right. right? Yeah, that's the first thing that comes into my head is asked a mouse. Well, to Mormon people, like little naughty Mormon kids, little naughty Mormons, they do soaking, which we've talked about before, which is like usually an Amish thing too, is they just stick your dick in your puss and leave it there. You don't, don't move. move. Don't move. You can't climax either. But I swear to God, I bet, I bet, uh, 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 what you call it? Uh, uh, fuck. I almost said pilgrims, Amish. I bet their fucking pussy muscles are strong. Because you, you got to get up. I mean, if he can't move, you just sit there and just grip it until you can get it. Yeah. Well, by all accords, everything I've ever heard of anybody describe an Amish person is they're like little ever ready bunnies. Like they don't stop when it's when it's work time and they hit the hit whatever they're going to. It's like hoi, 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 and it's this thing do a thing do a thing do a thing do a thing. They do not stop all day. They are like little industrious people. So just across the board, all of them are going to have like kegels of fucking power. You know what I mean? Because I think the ladies are doing all kinds of wild shit too. You know, oh, yeah, turn that butter. Whatever it turn is, they're wrestling fucking bears and shit. You know. Mary showed her ankle. <laughs> right. She's a whore. Right. <laughs> right. See, th- there was some, uh, like, if I was with an Amish lady, I probably wouldn't have to protect. I probably could be protected by the Amish lady, I think. I think. You know what I mean. Well, unless you have a Amish LP with a baseball bat. Oh, my God. No. Why would I do that? That sounds, I don't. Now, Remember the Amish mafia? Yeah, well, what I'm saying is, is do they. Do the Amish do like the Spartan thing and throw the weird little kid off the cliff if he doesn't come out right? 
You know what I mean? No, they tie him to the back of a buggy and they slap the horse well, on the I'm ass. I'm just saying, am I, am I like out of school by thinking that that's a thing? You know, I don't know. It seems like maybe, maybe, because you're living without power. You know, maybe they're just like, well, I me- don't know. This Yoder looks a little funny. <laughs> You know, we'll leave it to God. We'll just set him out on the branch. He'll be fine. If God means it, that kid will live. You know. You can always put him in the cornfield like a scarecrow. Th- th- or not. They'll maybe scare him away. maybe they don't. Maybe they don't do it. Who knows? I'm not sure. Maybe they lock him in a barn. Maybe they maybe they do none of the above. But but I seem to think that, you know, you know Maybe they treat him as like soothsayers like or something. Uh, they like become in like the- shaman. Like right. in midsummer, yeah, they become like weird little. They keep them in the attic and shit. Uh, well, that's if that's all that, that the person can say, then uh, that, that, that's it. That's all. It's the only noise it makes. Oh my god, I know what you mean. <laughs> Starting to understand, Jeff right. and I now. <laughs> give me a for this and for yes, and give me a for no. <laughs> right. Or did he just get chucked off a cliff? You know. <laughs> so what was this term that oh yeah oh, ATM. ATM yeah we're getting to that it's where it's where you take your basically you titty fuck the ass oh boy you take that you take your dick and stick you lube up the ass non penetrating just, just butt humping like a like a hot like dog a dry hump. like a hot dog in a bun uh huh like a dry hump are you allowed to use lubes fit I would imagine or do you just go with pre jizz is that what's happening I would think it'd probably be spit. Since mm. I don't think that the Amish seems have- a little aggressive, but you were did this came from a Mormon person, I think. Yes. Okay, so obviously it's it's one of those you're technically not you know you're not breaking the barrier. So if you're not breaking the barrier, well, and that's special. And that- who cares about a handy or a blowy? I mean, are you breaking a barrier with a blowy? Oh, imagine that! It's like. She's been churning butter since she was five. <laughs> For some reason, I thought the whole thing was like like just coming to a climax. That was the whole the whole thing you weren't allowed to do. Mm. Like you could do a lot of things up to that, but not, skating I don't know. on the lower back is perfectly fine, I suppose. Uh, huh, what do you know? Mm. Probably not fine, but well, they maybe, just do it. Well, you maybe know? they edge. You know, uh, it's <laughs> not sound like fun at all. Well, they wear those special underwear. Um, well, they're supposed to all the time. That goes almost to your knee, and it's like a short sleeve shirt, but it's a onesie, mm. but it has a butt flap. Mm. So maybe they just leave it on. They're like, maybe that's why there's a fetish for those uh, butt flap onesies. You know? Yeah. Well, no, there's a fetish for that because the world's really big, and the law of large numbers says there's going to be somebody into everything. That's true. You know, no, that's just because. True. Yeah, just just because. it's math. Oh gosh, I'm or if you're in England, math. <laughs> my nose, retards. sorry, my nose is bothering me. I don't want to say that anymore. <laughs> you can in England. So, and that's who I'm talking to when they put a plural math, more than one math. I thought, I thought, I thought more than one math is still math. Maths. It just sounds weird to me. It does sound weird. It to sounds me like too. you have a speech impediment. So did aluminium. I really, there are some words. You know, my favorite part is is you know we we take their actual language named after them and we just improved it. Really, we just, we made it a lot easier to talk. <laughs> uh, we have we just recently came into the new year. We are in now twenty twenty three, and this poor girl, she was at home alone on New Year's because. Um, she stuff she, well she kind of got like stood up her boyfriend like she said like her boyfriend was going or doing something or like didn't want to go or some shit i don't know but she was home alone and he went out to uh to, like this new year's big event with some other chick and she only found out that he was cheating on her when she called her boyfriend's phone and the girl answered hmm. she like called him on new year's so be like happy new year's yeah i'm well, lonely I, I have like almost an identical story when I when I was dating, I'm not surprised. Well, I was dating a girl, and right when when at right right before we broke up, we broke up basically because of this. Because she was like, you know, I I don't feel good. Why don't you just go to the party with the friends? And we we had planned to go to. So okay, I'll go to a party with. With you know, so I mm-hmm. went to the party and uh, had a great time. And when I when I come home, she was just acting weird, and that's I just asked her, "Hey, so you know, are you guys gonna tell me you've been banging you and you, my buddy, whatever?" And she just kind of the way she looked at me, I was like, "You fuck, really, really, really? You toss it out there, and I know, ah, fuck it, god damn it, oh. all right, pack it up, <laughs> pack it up." 
Well. Time to leave. Yeah, no, similar similar story. Yeah. Oh dear. Well, whatever. It worked out for me, and it was an epic fucking party that she missed. Well, you know, you know that was two thousand. She didn't go to the two thousand party. Think about that. Mm. Let that let that soak in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You've been to those parties. Oh, yeah. And the one for 2000 is one of the most epic ones that they've had. It was. You know, um, yeah. And no, it didn't go. Didn't go. <laughs> what? What is wrong with you? Wow. Anyway. Anyway. And then that year, we, 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 there was Ultra Music Fest, I think. I think that was the first year. And then we all went to that like a month later. And I was girlfriend free. Are you kidding me? Like, it really worked out for me. I bet. Like, it, I landed right on my feet, is what I'm saying. Well, yeah, you've always. Had, it works out that way. Although they be little feet. Yeah. Well, I'm all knee, really. I'm all knee, knee and feet. That's it. So, what happened to this, this person? Well, nothing. She just found out she was being cheated on by by that whole rigmarole. I found out that this. I found out that this guy that I went to <laughs> high school. <laughs> nothing. Oh God. Anyway. So there was this woman. She was named the world's hottest gran. Okay. And she says she's only fifty two, and she's a grandmother of like seven. Yeah. Sure. And um, it's well, well within range. She, I, that, that's what I was thinking yeah. too, and, but she doesn't look at those. She looks, she looks a lot younger. Okay, like she looks in her like mid mid forties. Still CrossFit or something. Keep, him, keeping them keegs up. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Maybe she was Amish. She said, she said that uh, that younger men just swarmed to her and mm-hmm. followed her feet. But I mean, guys that are younger than her daughter. Right, sure. So, I don't know. Younger but, than her granddaughter? No, 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 not granddaughter. What? I don't know. You know, maybe maybe you had a thirteen stacked on a thirteen stacked on a thirteen. Well, she used to she used to be a nude model, and uh, she said she hasn't dated in a couple of years. Um, just because, then, just just because, this right? Is what she looks like. I just I have sex with random people. Like she does not look fifty. She looks like a Barbie doll. Really, she does. Uh, you know what? She could probably get herself a sugar daddy. She definitely probably has like ten of them. She's just not banging any of them. That's all. We saw we saw one of the dumbest things about uh, there was like guess guess the the like the highest paid sugar baby, and the guy who was doing it, he was like, "What do you mean they have more than two? How, you have multiples? Like because some of the women had had a couple dudes that were giving. They go." And they haven't met them? Oh my God, they don't do it. And I'm just like, yeah, bro, that happens. All right, Tarantino, I'm going to fill the rest of the people in. Th- this was a YouTube video that had a line of people that, you know, that your typical one through six, and all of them were, were being paid for by either ladies or, or, or men. Basically, there were like five girls and one dude, and they were all sugar babies yes. for somebody or yes. other. Uh-huh. And, and and there you go. Now you can continue that we know where we're at. Well, the one guy that was there, his sugar mama was there with him. Right. So pretty much just like, you better not fucking say anything she I did. don't want you to say. His, his sugar mama came in to the event, to the filming. To, well, because she's a TikTok person. So his sugar oh, mama yeah, was a TikTok. True. So she just came for the for the juice. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. She's no, coming for clout. That makes because sense because he's he's going on a because uh, it was like for what uh, Jubilee, I think it was something was, like that. Yeah. Anyway, I never heard of it, but so, well, lots of people watch the videos anyway. Oh, I'm sure. Right, and did the one guy, the one uh, uh, male himbo there uh, that that was in himbo. the group, the himbo. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Was, uh, like you said, he was totally shocked when the girls were telling him, Hey, no, I have two or three guys, four guys, and I've never met any of them. And, you know, they pay for my rent and they pay for this. And it's, he was just like, What do you mean? You have, you have multiples? Yeah. Do they like know about each other? Do they know about each other? It's like, probably. I, I would imagine. I don't, you know, yeah, people give me money. Right. You don't have sex with any of them? No. No, I've met one of them. <laughs> Another one's like, oh, uh, yeah. The, the one girl, she was like dressed the most subdued and stuff. She had, she was definitely fucking mob mob bosses because, or people affiliated with the mob because. it just seemed that way. 
Yeah, because if they had everyone show like pictures of who who's paying them and you know what they do, and she said, "Oh, this one guy owns some laundromats. Another one's like, and a jewelry store. And, and yeah, he he deals in gems, um, does security, um, and one does you know, dock workers union. I'm not sure. Never. I don't know, but they always have lots of money. They own a couple of boats. They paid for my tits. <laughs> yeah, the one girl paid for, got her tits paid for and stuff like that. But there's a lot of girls that get their tits paid for. And so it's nothing new. And most of the group wasn't making huge dollars. The, the biggest money maker was making, I think, uh, 15000 a month, something like 10000 uh, 10000 a month. A month. Yeah, 10000 a month. And then there was somebody else about 10000 a month. There was a, one of the girls, she had, they had given her um, a platinum Amex card in her name. Right. Oh, and bought her a house. Bought her a house, yeah. And bought her a house. Right, right, right. And the dude has a wife. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, well, I mean, if people have the money to spend. Well, that's that's the thing. Is if anybody out there wants to be my sugar daddy, you can contact me on social media. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm right here. I could have multiple. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they said so. Okay. This has nothing to do with you. We saw it on a video. So <laughs> obviously we know those are the rules. It's the way it works. <laughs> You're locked into them. You watch that video willingly. <laughs> so now you have to abide by all of its new new uh, methods of life now for you. Um, yeah, we're moving in here. I'm sorry. They're going to pay for everything. No, I might not care. All right. You know, what, you, what am I going to do? Sit in the corner, take drugs all day? Hell yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, darn. Darn. <laughs> Damn. Wow, what an existence. I know. But play with LED lights. Like <laughs> Where's that see he's in the corner. Uh-huh. Sure. We just, we just gave him some new blocks. Right. Like, oh. Oh. <laughs> jingle your keys. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you revert back. Tried him. <laughs> back to what? I never left. What do you mean? <laughs> You just learned how to, you just got potty trained. I did. That's right? all. I go on the newspaper, like I'm told. Oh my God. I'm so out of shape. And I just, this is just reiterate how out of shape I am. Whatever. I had an orgasm yesterday. So hot. Like, I, I don't know what happened, but I was like out of breath afterwards. <laughs> and my heart, my, Chest felt like it was on fire. Uh huh. It's all of that orgasm ink talk, you know, last week. <laughs> right? Right. That, that's right. exactly what you, you just know. thought of somebody just rubbing your button for three hours of straight. up, down, down uh, up, down. Don't up, move. Down. Don't vary your stroke. <laughs> God. Okay, so go on. No, I'm just, I'm just saying that. I mean, I was just like. <sighs> And just like, and my chest was on fire. I'm like, this is not normal. <laughs> like, this, this should not. Happen. Are you gonna explode? Am I gonna come? Are you exploded your heart, and you're gonna have like a dildo in your butt, one of your snatch, another toy in your button? Please come in, sir. I don't think you want to come in and see your wife. She's been horribly violated. No, <laughs> it's like, no, she did that to herself. <laughs> Oh. That was voluntary. I uh, trust me. I've seen her do that before. <laughs> a lot of people. <laughs> sure. Pull up a video. Sure. It is. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> the, I mean, so so like if I come home one day and you're you're dead, you know, with dildos coming out of every hole. Do you want me to take the dildos out? Do you want me to set you up in a nice display you in a nice manner, or how do you how do you want? You know the uh, uh, rescue people to come in. I'm, I'm just trying to figure this out before I'm it happens. I'm dead. I don't care. Okay, you don't care. I'll pose you then. We'll set you up real good. Make you look good. Get you ready for a camera. You know. <laughs> well, she died doing what she loved. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Dude, that would that would that would really suck if I if I, I fucking had like cardiac arrest. During- it would. It would totally suck. Because people die during sex, not all the time, but it happens. Well, yeah, because your little heart gets beaten because you get all excited. 
and then adrenaline and the whole thing. I rem- it's physiological. I remember the old dude that I used to bang when I was 16, and uh, he was quite a bit older. Uh, he used to take his his heart medication um, after we had sex. Ew. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. That sounds extra gross in the in in the non nineteen hundreds. Well, in the nineteen hundreds, that didn't sound too bad, but it just sounds gross. Yeah, I was sixteen. I think he was like thirty three. No, I mean that's you know, Something you know, like really. I'm just saying. Now you go to jail for that hardcore. Oh yeah. Now no, when you go to the jail, people would like track you down to the ends of the planet to fuck with you. Yeah. Uh huh. So. Uh, He's he's married with a couple of kids sure now, he is. and he's he lives. He, I know where I know he lives down uh, down south now. What are the odds he's not diddling any of those kids? I mean, they're, they're not very good, are they? I mean, he's definitely doing something to one of the kids. I would imagine, right? Uh, I hope not. Mm. I hope not too. But I wouldn't be surprised. But if you had to put money on it, right? No, uh, like, I, I no, maybe not. Maybe not his, but. They're friends. Okay, there, there you go. The friends or like the babysitter. Yeah. Something like that. No, honey, we have to have a teenage babysitter. It's very important to keep, you know, the youth going. You know, they they have to stay home anyway because uh, they can't be out about town. Oh, he'd be like an Epstein and fucking- It's uh, dangerous down here. Get one of those chicks to be on his boat to but, like serve drinks or oh. just- Right. Clean. Or right. Whatever. Well, there's that whole subculture of people doing dumbass shit. Like, you know what I mean? Fl- I know. Flying around in private jets, farming out little ones. And, you know, uh, I mean, it, depending on what news source you listen to. It all so- started with pizza. <laughs> Evil do. <dough. laughs> well, that, that's happened since the beginning of time. Just for whatever reason, there's always been people doing stupid shit. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Paco, oh my God! So <laughs> jumping right over there, aren't you? Can you please not show your butthole to the camera? No, right. I, I don't think they want to see it. Thank Settle you. Settle down much. in the front, buddy. Rather see your cute little face. Right. <laughs> there you go. You can, you can you can monitor things. Go ahead. He's getting so fat lately. <laughs> he just looked at me when I said he was like, Bitch. really, really. I'm right next to you. You're just gonna fat shame me like that when I'm sitting right here. I'm not fat shaming him. I think you should do it. Right. <laughs> Very cute. The cat and Katie are making out. No. When, yes. Or ah, ah, ah. I love to lick a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> He'd probably let you lick him too. He probably would, but I don't feel like licking my uh, cat. Oh. Thank you. I mean, if you if you could, you would for sure. <laughs> if I could. <laughs> coming back around again is the gynecological fetish. Uh, okay. Coming back around. Back. It's coming back around again. Yeah. Well, that's just like people People now are more getting into it and talking about it um, more so than before. Now, that's the people who are into the, the pussy, of course, the vagina, and it's- Dressing up in medical attire. Medical attire, getting out the speculums, the crank you open, stirrups, all that, all that sort of shit. Some people like to do like the, the cold white tables and the bright lights, and they like to set it up, set it up. There are some, there are some fetish clubs too, and, well, and swingers clubs that have specific- Rooms with yeah, different themes for medical. Like Miami Velvet, and there was they they have a medical one set up that uh, looks very exactly popular. like a yeah, very popular. One of the cleaner ones too, because generally they keep those rooms in the dungeons that are like that pretty spick and span because it's all wiped down and you can mop everything. Well, yeah, because a lot of unsanitary shit goes on down there, so you want to make sure it's sanitary. Yeah, you got to hose it out. I mean that. I mean that makes sense. Yeah, get the fire you know. hose. Or they have a flushable floor drain. Flush, yeah, no, flushable floor drains are key in your uh, high end dungeons. There, <sighs> just hose everything to the middle. Well, because it's easy cleanup, right? You know, well, that's why I've. Plus, seen- you get all those cool little little medical tools, the little speculums and the little protractors, and I have two metal spiky speculums. Wheels and-, and by speculums, if you guys don't know, they're called duck lips. Yeah, you know, the scream was screaming duck. Right. Well, it kind of looks like like a little pistol too. Some of them have the little grippies on the end, and they yeah, go, that's what it is. Uh-huh. You know? They, I mean, some people sell them plastic. Some people sell them in glow in the dark. 
Some All people spell it with have little lights on it. I mean, you know. If but, you ever really wanted to know what's what's in a what's up in a vag, you can go get your your set your, get you a set of duck lips there and just jam it, cram. Well, and I wow. I have had uh, the last time I went to a gynecologist, she told me I had a beautiful cervix. Sure, that's a nice. No, cervix. I, well, no, I'm sorry. I bet you it, say that's all your patients. It was a pretty. A lot of them anyway. I had a pretty pink cervix. Right. I mean, there's nothing wrong with your cervix, basically. Yes, yeah, said it was. It was nice. Yeah. So, the door is still closed, but it's nice. <laughs> the door. <laughs> the only thing that comes out of there is unfertilized eggs. I don't want to see anything else. That's right. That's right. Just spit it. That's it. I'm too old for this shit now. That's God damn. Yes, way too old. So where are you seeing all this gyno fetish action at? What are you being advertised to? Yeah, I'm being av- – sorry. How, I'm being, how does yeah, that come I'm, around on the YouTube algorithm? You know what I mean? Well, not on YouTube. I'm just talking about um, in my just daily searches uh, when I'm doing show prep and stuff like that. Right. I see a lot more articles. And Usually you I guess see that's just what they're feeding me to. A lot of the girls that you know uh, online that are uh, doing modeling and stuff, generally mm-hmm. you start seeing them start to do outfits and medical and stuff like that for whatever so reason. The, usually, usually, I mean, see they'll cycles go, of stuff. Cycles of trends. Tre- yeah, really. Trends. Tre- yeah. Mm-hmm. Tre- trends in whoredom. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, which I think is cool. But then it, that made me think of the time that I did a demonstration at uh, FETCON for Girls Gone Gyno. And they had, I was in, um, they had me strapped down to a uh, an examining table, and my feet were up in stirrups, and I was wearing thigh high boots. And well, they tied me up, so they tied me down to the chair. And the 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 chick, the nurse, she was dressed as a little sexy nurse. She took a a wand, a big vibrator, and she gave it to me. Right. And there's nothing I could do about it but squeal and squiggle. But right. I have that I have that video clip which uh, I can post on Twitter. Really? Or I can post it with the uh, huh? Or that I can video post... clip still exists. Yeah, yeah. I actually, oh, okay. I there actually found it. Well, there's there's no nudity. There's yeah. no uh-huh. you know music that that could get copyrighted. Gotcha. Or anything. Yeah. Can't say nothing about it. No. 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 Other than look at you. Well. <laughs> 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 You slut. I can't believe you did that in front of all these people. God. I did more. Where was your husband? <laughs> Taping holding the it. camera? <laughs> he was the one yeah, filming it. Right. It's like, you think that's bad? I mean, I've done way worse. Right. Right. I mean, you didn't even get naked. What do you mean? Nobody, no. Nobody saw any body parts. It can't no. can't count as anything, really. I didn't even squirt on anybody. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. This was not the Gallagher show. No. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to go to an episode of Rule 34. And when we come back, we have got, I got a little in, in, instruction thing that I think you'll enjoy. It's how to finger with fake nails. Mm. So, uh, we'll be right back. And welcome back to Kinky Katie's World, Rule 34 Studio, kinkykatieradio.com and radiocast.net. You can get me on the Twitter later at Kinky Katie Radio, KinkyKittyRadio.com, KinkyKittyRadio at gmail.com. You can Google me because I like it. You can also get me on Instagram and YouTube. Like it, like it, subscribe. Right. Paco's taking over. Paco Libre just making sure he knows you know who's running the studio, right? Yeah, because, you know, the Flogi was here earlier. Right. Said, hey, this is not his spot, just so you know. It's <laughs> definitely not his. The asshole. It's mine. <laughs> I put I put a uh, um, it's weird I hear an echo, <laughs> not an echo, but I, I can hear. Anyway, what I, are I put, you doing, in Space Cadet? No, I can hear the speaker. You like, don't. You hear, can't. It's never mind. That's what I You're said. You're just old. I'm just old. <laughs> I am, and I'm blind as a bat. Right. You're like I don't know. I think I hear things. I'm getting a double up. I don't know what's going on. Senile. Uh huh. That's all right. So what are we doing? I put out a post um, the other day, and all I there was no picture attached with it. it. Just said it's a naked afternoon. I'm at home. I want to be nude, so I'm being nude. I couldn't have fucking like sixty comments. Which for you is a lot. It's, Generally, did they just come yeah. look at a boob and leave? Right. So you know, I I might get a few here and there, whatever. But then like. 
214 likes, loves, and and cares. Okay. Like, I didn't even know all those things existed. But yeah, there's other, there's angry too. There's, what? There's angry? There's angry. You get angry? Like, uh, like this. Really? It's red. You get those? Huh. It's I like a dislike, whatever. Yeah. Everyone's at a blue moon though. Usually I don't get those. Huh. Huh. Well, usually the people who come for boobs come for boobs. That's right. They don't just find the boobs. They, I mean, you know what I mean? They've, they they came specifically to you. Nobody just said randomly, you know, to, you know, uh, showed up on their feed. You know what I mean? I guess so. You shook them out of some tree somewhere. Maybe. Somewhere. Maybe shared with somebody. Maybe. Who knows? Uh-huh. Things happen. It does. It does. All the time. I'm worried. Why? I don't know. No, <laughs> shouldn't be. This guy should be worried. This, um... This chick's little brother bought a, uh, thought it was a toy hot dog. I actually thought it was a dog chew toy, but. It, it's it, definitely a dildo. It, no, it had a lid on it. And when you take off the lid, it's a flashlight. Mm, okay. Was it at least clean? I Quote, clean. All right. You know, it doesn't, I mean, as clean as they get, really. It doesn't, I guess, as clean Unless as you new. get. Unless they're new, really. That's Why the only. Does it really still smell like mustard? The only flashlight you can trust is a flashlight that, you know, came out of a box and was wrapped. Don't trust any other one. Sure, they got it clean. Sure, they did. Of course they did. Right. It's you a got very, spick and span. But you know, you can soak that thing. You can change the inner workings of your flashlight. They right. sell replacement pussies. Okay. Or assholes or mouths, whatever you I want. I mean, I like that whole disposable action. Sounds like the way to go. You know what I mean? Put a sleeve in that thing. You know, but yeah, like a little dispo- toilet seat ring. But then then that probably isn't going to feel as good. You're probably not going to like it as much. They have a bunch of toys out there for guy guy masturbators that uh, that are disposable. Like the Tanga egg. You can use yeah. those like two or three times. Little glovey things and you know, fold it inside out. <laughs> Right. Jerk with it. Whole thing. It's super stretchy. Right. Blow, blow the load and chuck the whole thing. Yeah. You're uh-huh. done. You don't have to worry about it. Spiggity spank. A couple of bucks. Stop by the porn star on the way home. Hey, but also a good little tip with those two is if you do happen to bust through the top of it. Right. Well, then you can use that as an extra gripper sleeve while you're giving head. Okay. So you can, you know, as you're giving head, you can also have the, because it's it's got different um, I mean, textures that's only on the ap- inside. That's only going to apply to gay men, really, because I mean, you're the only one that's going to be. You're the one that's going to be using it on yourself, and you, if you bust it through the end, then you know where you're going to get a dick to suck your own dick. You can't suck that dick ain't going to suck itself. That's uh, a well-known term. There's a I mean, lot I didn't of, make that up. Hello, there's a lot of guys that jerk off in front of women. Okay, that's their thing too. Well, you know, I guess. And what if happens. she was jerking you off with it, and I mean, she was playing? Because people do that too. Okay, people do a lot of things, but, right? But I'm I'm gonna go with most people are not going with a sleeve. Let me explain something to you. If you're a guy, if you had a dick, you would know this. I mean, this is the thing. You just you don't know because you don't have a dick. Pay attention, ladies. Well, here's the thing. How many times? How many videos do you get from guys that are bare, just them stroking their dick with lube, not lube, compared to in an own a hole or something like that? Most of them are so you can see their dick. Right. They want you to. So if you're doing this in front of somebody, uh, you, you want them to see that dick come out of that hand. You don't want it like cased in some kind of, of shit. No. You want them to see every vein, every bump, every ridge. You, you know, know what I mean? There are people though that are into oh, there it. Are. They want to play. Because I have used a bunch of those. I have played with them on you. Because right. when I worked at places like that, I got a lot of free shit. Okay. So I, or else I was told, hey. Can you uh, take these? So like, can you try these? Can you? We were the guinea pigs for a lot of things. So after you busted through your disposable own hole, right? You, right. You, you broke through the the, the glass ceiling. Oh, there. that was sad. Right. You 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 did that. So what are you gonna like save it for later for a blow job or you know what's happening? No, here? just throw it out. You can get them. It's kind of funny. Sometimes you can get them in cartons of like four or six. <laughs> get a little six pack. Yeah, and you can get a variety. Because yeah, well, they all have, they all have, di- depending on what color the outside is, they all have different feelings and textures on the inside. Right. Yeah. And you would say there were, there were guys that would come in on a regular, uh, to pick those up. You oh, know, yeah. they got their weekly box of, of fuck sleeves. Well, there was one dude who really liked them because he had this whole, like, you know, egg laying fetish. Okay. And since they are shaped like eggs, 
and they're encased Big in bomb, plastic. It worked out for him. He would stick them up his butt, and he would just pop them out, and then then he would eat, like the one that would come out, like the the last of the first ones. It depended how many popped up. I think the most was three. The mysteries of the ass. See, there are some people. Who, <laughs> yeah. Well, no. This I mean, this goes back to how many emergency room stories have we actually talked about on this show? Countless, it's like hundreds, <laughs> like literal hundreds of people losing things in their ass, <laughs> right? This dude shoves tank of eggs up his ass on the reg, right? He does it all the time. This dude gets cases of of eggs to, <laughs> so he can jerk off with one hand, shove the shove the egg up the ass with the other. Mr. Bunny. And every egg comes out every time. How does that happen for him? And yet Mary Rottencrotch, you know, go, <laughs> loses the end, the flange on her fucking uh, Lord of the Rings jewel bedazzled butt plug, and it just heads fucking north and starts coming out of her nose. <laughs> right? Like, how does that happen? Maybe his body is kind of like a skee ball machine. <laughs> this is what I mean. <laughs> He just, just comes right back out. He just, it like makes a U turn. No, he keeps go the other way. Let me wake. He swallows them and they stack up. So they just poop. Right. right. There's just a whole like chicka chicka, just a whole line right. of them. Right. He gets enough of them in there, so eventually he's just gonna. The system's gonna be full. Or he's just gonna beep, 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 either beep. press on their stomach or press on the prostate, and then they all just shoot out. Oh God! <laughs> wow. Ooh. Yeah, just shoot. Out. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, there was a there was a guy that he was. Re- um, I was telling you, but there was a guy who was requesting a uh, a cast fetish video, mm. and I wanted to let you guys know that are listening right now. If you are interested in a cast fetish video, we did a episode and featured it. Um, I believe it was four hundred one. And, and we there's also a YouTube clip on it. Yeah, there's also it's on YouTube, and there's also a YouTube clip on it too. That does it's a sh- short video. Yeah, she broke her legs for his fetish. Something like that, right? Yeah, something like that. So you know, it's amazing you- how many people really are into that. It blows my mind. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it almost goes with the medical thing that you were talking about. That there's like a there's a Venn diagram there. Yeah, like the people with the medical equipment, I'm sure are kind of into putting a splint, put a casting thing, like applying casts. You talked to a couple of people after um, we d- we put that clip out. Yeah, that had, you know, I like, that were you know, can I come put a cast on you? Can I, you know, I yeah, just they're you know whatever. I n- nothing. I don't want to have sex with you or anything like that. I just want to put a cast on and cut it off when we're done. It's mm-hmm. like, what? Yeah, or, or, you know, put it on and let me take some pictures of it on you and uh, then... Right. Right, and then I'm going to go pick up five dozen cases of Oda holes. <laughs> of Oda disposables. And I'm going to... I'm going to wait. I'm going to make you wear the cast for like a week or a couple of weeks so then as I'm jerking off, I can huff it. Just smell it. Just, <laughs> oh, but uh, stinky you know that, cast. That's got to be part of it. I mean, that's good. that almost has to be not every time because there is no every time. Right. But there have to be several people who are into the actual funk, funk that comes out of it because – Cast funk. It's part of it, right? Yeah. You know, it, most of the, the cast that you're going to come across unless you're literally – Doing like that and and putting them on people uh, uh, that don't have broken arms and things like that, Mm -hmm. they're going to be regular casts and they're going to get funky. They're going to be, you know, they're going to be doing CrossFit in this thing and whatever. Or they just, they just like seeing, um, like that the person might, you know, has some sort of disability, like the, you know, they can't move this arm because it's got a cast on it. Like, what if it's like a hip cast or something that they're immobile? Those are brutal. Those are brutal. Yeah, you dated a girl that had a hip cast, right? Well, I didn't date her. I had sex with her once, and then she said she was pregnant. But yeah, dated. Dated. Heard from her nine months later. She was she got really fat. like, But she had broken her hip and was laying Did in bed. Did you break her hip? Had nothing to do with it. Literally met her at a party, had sex, never heard from her, whatever. She knew how to get a hold of me. It wasn't like... It wasn't like I did anything to like run away from her at all, but I wasn't asking for her number either. So either way, nine months later, the incommon friend that knew us both was like, hey, uh, you need to come to the hospital. What do, you, what do you mean I need to come to the hospital? Well, you remember that girl that you hooked up with at my party? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what about it? Well, you know, we're at the hospital. Like, why couldn't anybody tell me? What, like, 
What was the problem? Well, here's the thing. She didn't know she was pregnant. Okay. And so I drove down and when I got there, literally I, I walk in the room and I went, you get, so you didn't realize you get, she goes, I broke my hip and I've been in a hip cast this whole time. Tuesday on TLC. Right. And <laughs> so I was missing my periods, but I was on meds and stuff. So I didn't think anything of it. You right. Know, I was Why feeling, would you? yeah, I was feeling weird and yeah, I broke my hip, you know? So anyway, here's your baby. It wasn't my baby, but it turned out not to be. Anyway, hip cast. Mm. Mm. Hip cast. It's not your baby. Right, right. That's <laughs> great to do to a 16-year-old, too. You know what I mean? Hey, at least she wasn't 30 and on heart medication. <laughs> and he was so much shorter than me, too. Oh, my God. It's just so, so that's creepy. What, that's what he would he would get mad if I showed up in heels. And he goes, are you really that mad at me? Well, and he's looking up at me because, I, I mean, I'm six foot tall. And he was like five Five? I don't think you understand, Katie. The whole part of me dating little ones is because they're little. And he was skinny, I and I was really big. fat. So. God damn it! You're too goddamn big for for a 15 year old. He loved it though. <laughs> Did he? That you were big, or that you were 15? Both. Okay. No, I don't know. Okay. But it was yeah. It was really. He's like, I can't take you out nowhere because you know you're not 18 yet. Because <laughs> I'm a pedophile. Yeah, it's like when uh, you turn 18, of course we'll go out somewhere. Sure, we will. Right, right. I'm sure that's what you wanted at the time too. There was a there was a time that I lied to my parents and I said I was going to uh, go see a concert or something with a friend of mine that I knew that she liked, and then I actually drove up from down south to Stewart, <laughs> where he lived. No, like, like a forty-five minute drive, something like that. Yeah, and I was I was sixteen. Mm. Yeah, and no. I didn't know where I was going. Creepy. And, and then we fucked, and then I left. He's like, "You're not staying the night." I'm like, "No, I have no. to go home." You're weird, old man. My uh, mom's like, "Really?" When I met you, you said the same thing to me. Yeah, I gotta get home. You don't understand my mother. I'm like, wait a minute. How old? Are, like, you see how you I was said it? You, yeah. you said you were 24 when I met you. Right. W you are definitely not looking 16 to me. You look 24. Yeah. Well, I, I was. Well, I am, but my worse. mom's gonna kill me. Okay. Whatever. Can't imagine you actually a teenager. Like you would have been <sighs> panic stricken. I was. A, I'm a very. I'm a very paranoid person. Leave me alone. Right. Right. Whatever. Right. You know, some would say that typical, um, um, like suburban, your parents made sure nothing happened to you. You know what I mean? Keep yeah. the girls safe. Keep the girls safe. And yeah. yet, you know, the, the stereotypical nineties, nope, I'm going to be a goth slut. Fuck you too. <laughs> Fuck the pose of you. I mean, I was, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a common story. It just is. I'm going to date him. He's got a record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it, here we are. You know. Walks through the door. Ooh, you look like a bad decision. Come no, here. And, and really, I'm sure there's a lot of people you went to high school with that when they see me, they're kind of like, well, yeah. Yeah, I could see that was what was going to happen. <laughs> Maybe. 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 Uh-huh. Probably. <laughs> Dude, there's this ad that really would creep me out. It's called Invade Deep Fisting Cream. Mm. But the guy, the aren't you? Are, doesn't that make you feel better that there's an actual cream made for deep fisting? I there's mean, several. I'm, but this is what I'm saying. It's got to be like comforting to know that somebody's putting the technology into deep fisting. Somebody cares. That's right. There's more people out there. When you, when you get up past the wrist, you know, up somebody's bunghole. You better, you better hope they had some deep anal fisting liquid. Dude, fluid. I've seen it to the elbow. Now, I wonder what what makes that special for deep fisting. I like, would imagine the, the the um like the viscosity of it. Okay. The texture. Well, I'll, I I'm just talking about this because while I was looking at that anal stuff, the model they use to try to sell this product looks. So fucking psychotic. Right. He looks like he's really f like you're tied up and you're the gimp and he's filming you and he's just like, <laughs> yeah, I'm sleeping. You gotta learn today, boy. I mean, he, just let me show you what he looks like. 
<laughs> Dude, he mastered the look. What are you talking about? That's the perfect look for somebody selling invade deep fisting uh, cream. cream. Right. He's got this intense look on his face, this grin like. <clears throat> somebody definitely has their fist deep in his bunghole right then. He's got he's got an open jar that slopped like over the side of this cream, and his other hand is is giving you like that Italian like hey you know what I'm saying you know with all your fingers together, but it's glopped the goo, white goo is glopped on like all the way down to his knuckles, and he's just looking at you like yeah. <laughs> well, he mastered the look. It's like blue steel, but for creepy dudes. Oh my god, it is hilarious. Do you think that he is a gay or straight man? Or both? Or all of the above? I think he just likes to stuff, stuff his, his hand his butt. Under <laughs> <his> butt. <laughs> Whoever will let me f- puppet them. Well, he kind of, lo- like, to me, nah, I could be completely wrong. People are like, how the fuck can you tell? I don't know, but it just, to me, it looks like that he does it, he fists his own ass and films it. Ooh, that's a hard one to get your your hand around that far to I've get your fist in your butthole. Surprising, I've seen quite a few. I've seen hand. quite a few. Yeah, yeah. Some but people it's still go. A task. Some people go around the front. Some people go around the back. Uh, I think most of the time I've seen it, it's around the back. Oddly enough, I've seen some people twist their dicks and stick it in their own butts. That I've seen too. I've seen a little bit. Of, I've actually done that. What do you mean? See if I could do it. Go. It goes in. Oh. Yeah. Huh. It's just, you got to shove it in, push it rope. Well, yeah, I don't Because you can't, can't do it to, like with your heart. With no, your heart. not at all. Not even remotely. You have to be completely, you have to be in maybe like quarter, quarter, uh, st- like not, not, not coming out of the pool size. However, you need just a little bit of blood going to it, not a lot. Mm-hmm. Not to where it's wanting to 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 you know uh, look above the horizon, any any way, shape, or form. Hmm. Then you can wrap and jam. Right. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh-huh. I want to wrap jam, wrap uh-huh. jam, <laughs> and it's not very comfortable. You know. Well, some people. But you can, you can definitely make are. yourself a little a little boy pussy for sure. No doubt. Huh. Well, if you guys know how to do that, or if you've done, or you're trying it, and um, tell me about it. Or well, I think a lot of a lot me. of dudes have like at least gone or <laughs> wrapped it around there to go. I wonder if that goes in there. Oh yeah, it does. Look at that. Look at that. It goes all the way around there. Check it out. I'm just saying. It's called tucking. Right. This is <laughs> what I'm saying. And then there are uh, lots lots of 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 men uh, that are tucking just to look better in in an outfit. That's you know what, what I mean? That's what I meant. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm going yeah, for. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm just explaining things. But I mean, it's like you know, because I've seen people um, like they they claim they're they get hard. It's like, but how how does that work? Yeah. Like, how does that? F- There's a line you can't cross with rigidity when you're wrapped around in that's, your own that's, butthole. That's what I'm saying. It's like, wouldn't it be more prone to like? Sprain or something? If you try to get hard and it's it's like wrapped. I don't know about sprain. Wrapped around your nuts to get to your. I just don't think it's going to get fully erect. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I wouldn't think it would because then it would just like pop out. Right? Or (laughs) well, you can you know we talk all the time about people breaking their dick on one thing or another. Usually, you know, zigging when you you should zag or whatever. Pull out too far, then go back in with a vengeance. Yeah, usually a girl girl on top kind of a thing, Mm. and everybody goes to town. They think your your dick's four feet long, or it's the butthole. Yeah, it could be either way. It's a it's a it's a a dismount remount too quick. Usually, Mm -hmm. and then here you go. You got a hook and hook and dick now forever. Sorry, bud. Of course, it might help you though. You know, maybe you're a sheep herder and you need a little sheep hook. Just saying. Bad well, they carry boy. those things. I don't know. Well, so they can hook the fucking thing. sheep. There you go. You have a left swerver now. Hey. And it's at like a 90 degree angle. <laughs> I can fuck around corners. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see that movie with Angelina Jolie that she's shooting the guns? Same idea, but with my dick. And what? it doesn't shoot. It's just broke in half. No, that wasn't that wanted, wasn't Tomb think. Raider. Wanted, wanted. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the, like, not Tomb Raider. The bullet. To curve the bullet. <laughs> it's so funny. I can't. 
That's Fishing such hand. a funny thing. <laughs> It's such a funny thing. Hey, maybe if you could swing that gun around at light speed, you could get that thing to do something. But, right. It's still uh, fun. Well, we're going to get out of here for the night. I know I told you I would tell you how to finger with acrylic nails. What? No, wait a minute. You tell nails. me how to finger with acrylic nails. No, negative. What happened? What do you mean? What if I want to get acrylic nails and then I want to blast you up? How am I going to do this? I would say no. What? You would... Deny me? What am I? Come like me who? Up. What? What diddle am I going to do? Because you're not used to having acrylic nails. Number one. Okay, so it doesn't matter do... if you followed these. Okay, but this is after I've taken the Yoda course in finger blasting with acrylics. I should be all caught up, right? Up, down. Up, that's, up, <laughs> that's all. Down. That's all. All you need to know. I bet it involves wearing uh, rubber gloves. Now or just is, not going deep insertion. This is what it says. It says, be gentle. Mm-hmm. Some advice that all fingering aficionados should take into consideration. Right. You must be very gentle with it. Unless they're asking you not to be. It's very mm. confusing sometimes. Well, as we're talking about is you have nails, you know. You oh, that's you right. Be, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because, you know, some women these days, they have those fucking, like, pointed ass claws. And right. they've got, like, dagger werewolf claws on their fingers that's been the thing the last few years is the pointy nails on the right yeah. right or you could have a lot of um like gemstones and shit some nail art glued to those puppies and you go in and it's like fucking scratching the hell out of these I um mean, really didn't I, you have a teddy bear charm before you had that in my butthole where's your teddy bear charm it's in the abyss you now. had three heart charms you're all of the charms on your nails are gone. Well, now it's just going to have to be either a wait and see or... <laughs> Whatever. Uh, it's small. It's a claw what game. We, what do we care? It'll come out eventually, probably, should. I got the Midas touch. I, You know, a little thing like that, I would imagine there are little crevices and stuff <laughs> inside a vag that it may get stuck in. You know what I mean? Yeah. It could like go up around the corner, stick into a fold and just start growing in. Yeah. And then you got like like you know acrylic nail art stuck up in your cervix. Then that would probably be an issue. Cool. So. Well, you see, you have a baby and it just comes out bedazzled. You know what I mean? What happened to that kid? Hi, ma. Did you do a lot of drugs? No, no. Just a lot of people with fingernail ex- art finger ex- blasted me. Experimented in college, <laughs> like you do. Five years ago. Well, it takes a while Still to get there. in there. It's gold. It worked its way through. It doesn't. It doesn't dissolve. So you know, at least they had good jewelry. But see, we'll put it on a necklace for you, and you can cherish it forever. It's like this <laughs> this is, came from your birth. <laughs> Mommy snatched jewelry, came out right on my forehead. <laughs> Why does my baby have a bindi? <laughs> not a bindi and they're wondering why younger people these days are more in touch with getting like facial tattoos and things like that i mean you know you deal with nail art in the womb <laughs> or not i would imagine it's it would, a pre-birth it would, mani patty it's got to be a good idea to like a rubber rubber gloves in general like if you were going for a series diddle session i would imagine rubber gloves would probably be pretty nice yeah if you have if you have pointy nails with a lot of shit on it, then you even know. regular nails. I'm just saying, even just regular nails. Yeah, I would say so too. Another one, she said, check in. You know, make check sure. In. Yeah, make sure you know every You're once in a stabby. while. Are you being all right? You know, does You're that okay? hurt? Are you okay? Well, nothing. Nothing takes the hotness right out of it, other than like, are you okay? It's like, well, you fucking kebab my labia already. So, <laughs> um. No. I'm, I'm that not. and the can I touch you here, stopping to say that, really. It just puts a kink in the hose. Well, it does say, say you know, know your angles, which is good to know because you got to know which way you're fucking stabbing up there um, or around there. But if you're just doing that Yoni Master d- demonstration, all you got to know is up, down. <laughs> up, the one step. Down. Uh huh. Up. Right. Down. Right. In the left you. hand upper quadrant. <laughs> in a different in a different life that could have been you. Oh my god. That that lady. So you scoff, however, 
I don't know. Scoff, 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 scoff. Yeah. However, I'm just saying, in a different universe, you know, with some different things along the way, mm. you definitely could have been that person. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I think Paco's <laughs> shutting us down. We're not yet. We're almost done. But, uh, yeah, actually, they do suggest gloves. See, there you go. What Get did out I say? gloves. And have non-latex because uh, some, so people, some people are allergic to latex. And you, they might not know because if they're, if they're lesbians – you what know, other maybe, kind of gloves maybe are there? Never had a dick, and you know, there's non latex. Okay, but what are they made of? Is what I'm saying. I don't know. You don't know? Sheepskin? No. <laughs> Poly something? I I don't know. Rubber? Right. I don't know. It's coming. Latex free. Yeah, it just says latex free. See? It's a uh, nit nitrile 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 gloves. Okay. Oh, nitrile gloves. Sure. I guess. What's all Nitri we need? Nitrile. Yeah, nitrile vinyl. It's vinyl. A vinyl safer than latex, I guess. Huh. What do you know? Mm. We learned something, or I did. I like to wear vinyl. Most of the gloves I get in the plumbing profession are nitrile for whatever reason. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. It just says it on the box. I don't really care. <laughs> all right. Well, great. Uh, we're going to go. All right. And because um, I... Uh, yeah. I'm like Kiefer Sutherland. <laughs> you are. <laughs> I'm flatlining. I only gave you a little bit, too. I know. Uh, code? Yep. All right, guys. Uh, what do you... How are you? I mean... What? <laughs> you got anything for me, Esty? What? Yep. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a great week. Rest of your... A great rest of your week, month, shifts, whatever it is the fuck you're doing. Um, I gotta go. I really have to go. So kisses on your pain by yourself. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye. <laughs> Paco! I like tacos, tacos and burritos. <laughs>